Hello. Hi there, I'm Sensei Victoria Whitfield, your business Reiki master. It's my joy to help empathic entrepreneurs just like you get and stay grounded and clear in mind, body, and business. Welcome back to another installation of your weekly love letters from the dojo at naturalintuition.com and my blog, victoriawhitfield.com. Your source for channeled holistic stress management techniques and guidance for developing your natural intuition. Whether you are looking to improve the quality of your personal or professional life, let this love letter be your reminder that you are not alone and that together we can make that happen. This is a special announcement love letter. Yay! So I wanted this week to let you know that I am so thankful, so thankful for all your years of support. You know, being in this line of work has really changed my life and changed the lives of hundreds of entrepreneurs around the world. So Tribe, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for all your support over the years. And because of that, my work has grown. <laughs> so this is my special announcement. If you didn't get it in the mail, oh my goodness, we're moving. <laughs> and I wanted to take this week in particular to inspire you, as well as inform you around the shifts that are happening here at the dojo. So I'm at my home office right now. That's why I'm standing quite particularly close to the goddess filming this for you. And here's what's going to happen. My work has grown so much that my guides have asked me to focus more on serving you and your teams in particular. And we have manifested a gorgeous space that you'll be seeing more of um, come this December <laughs> and forward because it's time for us to gather more as a tribe and as a group. Right, uh, the dojo where I have been presenting to you from, as well as seeing you if you've been coming for sessions, right, or if you've been coming for a meditation class, it's really set up for more one on one work. You know, when we throw a party there, we're practically sitting on each other's laps, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. However, this is more where the juice is at. And I'm sure you'd agree with me. For those of you who know what I'm talking about, when we get to see each other as a group in person, this is so powerful. For those of you who are members of my visionary shaman circle, of my abundant business circle, who come to group guided meditations, right, or our, our uh, solstice parties at the dojo, it's so enriching to get to see your tribe. And so because of that, the location that we've manifested is capable of holding 10 times the amount of visitors. So before I could only maybe have like six to 10 people, you know, maybe 12 in the room if we're sitting on each other's laps, where we're going has between 60 to 100 people on site capacity. It's gorgeous. It's a historic home, maybe about seven minutes away from where we are currently. And I would really love to get to share that with you. So stay tuned. Make sure that you click on the link below if you want to be notified as soon as possible for when we're going to be throwing our solstice reunion party we're not just throwing a winter solstice party this year it's a brand new dojo and i desire for us to have a reunion this week in particular ask your guides right normally i'm telling you what my spirit guides are telling me and absolutely i've been journeying on this for quite some time but this is just a desire of my own i desire a reunion Ask your own spirit guides, ask your own higher self, what would it look like for me to throw a reunion party for all of 
my beloved peeps, if it's for your clients, if it's a reunion for your family, if it's a reunion for your friends, no particular reason other than a reunion. Because here's the thing, together is better. And you have to ask if you want to receive. You know, I know for me personally, I find that the more I think about it, the more I desire to be in the presence of the people that I love, right? I've made that decision in my own living situation. I will never live alone. I will always live with someone who loves me and who I love dearly, right? However that works out, because I have lived alone, alone before, right? And that, I don't like the way that that feels. I've also changed my business lifestyle as well with that same value of I will always work with someone who loves me and who I love dearly too. I will never work alone. And that has changed the level of abundance that I get to experience and enjoy in my life as well as in my business, right? So with that, let's call it in. I know I'm calling you in to come to our solstice reunion party this december make sure you click below to say i'm interested i'm interested click on that button if that speaks to you right or wherever this is posted but for you as well this week in particular i would challenge you to ask your spirit guides what kind of reunion party should i throw now, this doesn't mean that you have to cook. I never cook at my parties. <laughs> all of mine are potluck, baby. Bring it, bring it, whatever you bring. That's awesome, <laughs> right? This doesn't mean that you have to chase people down and charge. When I throw a party, I never charge. This is just to see you come. And if you want to contribute, right, or leave a donation for the cups, and the space, whatever, I'm always open to receive, right? Or if when I'm going to a party, the hostess is saying, hey, you know, could you help us spot, you know, 5, 10, 30, 50, however, for the space, et cetera, et cetera. I'm happy to oblige because I get to be in the party, right? Let it be easy. And I'm hearing my own personal Oracle Cards deck calling in the energy. This is the first deck that I ever got for myself. It's the Goddess Guidance Oracle Cards deck by Doreen Virtue. And this is the actual deck that is mine. I'm at my home office and I have this one. Um, and for this week in particular, goddesses, what do we need to know right now about throwing a reunion party? What? And up-leveling, right? Welcoming in more of the tribe. Oh, yay. I love it. So this is a bit counterintuitive, and I love that she's coming to us. Fast, independent. Fast, independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. And what I'm hearing right now, coming from my guides, about throwing a reunion party and welcoming people back into your space, right? And with me inviting you to come see the new dojo and let's celebrate, let's have some fun together. Bast, the goddess Bast is coming forward about independence. You know, I know you. <laughs> you are a strong independent, insert word here. <laughs> Strong, independent woman, strong, independent man, strong, independent girl, strong, independent boy, strong, independent business owner, strong, independent entrepreneur, strong, independent artist, strong, ind independent musician, right? Strong, independent mother, strong, independent father, so on and so forth, right? Be kind to yourself. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. But there is more to a house than just the foundation. You best believe it's powerful to be strong and independent, right? Right there with you. I'm an achiever, right? Achievers unite. And that's your foundation 
what fills in the rest of the house is the power of positive community, right? And your ability to be resourced and resourceful. Call it in. Ask for what you desire. If you've been feeling lonely at work, ask for people to come by and visit, right? If you've been feeling like you're not hanging out with or seeing enough of your friends and family, ask for them to come by. Don't wait for somebody else to ask you. I just felt a chill in the energy. Like someone who's watching this right now, maybe it's you, or maybe it's whoever you're going to share this with, right? Because we gotta make sure that this word gets out to our tribe. Someone who's watching this right now, could be you, has been waiting to be invited and has been angry or frustrated that they haven't been asked to come out or everybody else is going out um, or everybody else is having parties and things to celebrate, blah, blah, blah. It's official happy everything week, okay? <laughs> right? Declare happy everything join me in this and by the way click below and make sure that you join us right so that you get on that notifications list to be there for our winter solstice party right our reunion this time at the new space and let's enjoy being together right we can be independent absolutely and be powerful in that independence and then let's enjoy our lives together, right? Two strong, independent people come together and they become interdependent and create this amazing life, right? Full of love, fulfillment, and togetherness, right? Doing it alone is great, but together is better. Comment below, send me an email back at info at victoriawhitfield.com. That comes straight to me, or you can email my team at team at victoriawhitfield.com. Let me know what comes up for you around this. Now, make sure that you subscribe on YouTube so that you get these love letters first every week. And I will see you next week with our next series. Mwah! Mwah, 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 mwah. And see you guys. Bye. <laughs>